1959, a 44-year-old lieutenant, Remy Van Leerd, was stationed at an air base in Kamina in the African Congo. He took off in a helicopter from the military air base. He had the task of monitoring the area. While flying over the boundless jungle, he suddenly notices something unusual crawling in the riverbed. Approaching a little closer, he noticed a giant snake that was a greenish-brown color. Being an experienced pilot, Remy approached the snake to within 30 feet. According to Remy, who has many years of flying experience, he was able to determine the snake's length fairly accurately, which was impressive, a hundred feet long. When the helicopter approached the snake, it raised its head to a length of about 10 feet as if preparing to attack. As Remy said, the snake's head was very similar to a horse with a huge triangular jaw. It was about 60 centimeters wide and about a meter long. Remy was sure if his helicopter had come any closer to her, this snake would have actually attacked the helicopter. A snake of this size could have easily swallowed a human. He decided to circle around it a few times to take a picture. Later, returning to the base, he told the story of this terrifying incident, along with a few photos as proof. Remy was a respected Air Force veteran and considered a reliable source who had no apparent motive to make such a thing up. However, there are skeptics who believe that this mythical snake does not exist in the Congo Basin. The largest known species of snake living in this area is the African rock python, and they usually only grow up to 10 feet long, although there are witnesses of snakes even 20 feet long. This description of the creature is very reminiscent of the largest snake that ever existed on Earth, the Titanoboa, who lived in South America about 60 million years ago in the Paleogene era. It grew up to 100 feet long and was about 3 feet in diameter at the thickest part of its body and weighed about 2,500 pounds. It is believed to have hunted large animals such as giant tortoises, large fish, and crocodiles. The remains of Titanoboa were found in the coal mine in Colombia. This discovery allowed scientists to learn more about this giant snake and its environment. If someone would claim that a hundred-foot-long snake really exists, they would have to provide some particularly strong evidence. And Remy's story and the rather poor quality shots were not considered solid evidence of the existence of this snake. But this story of a giant snake is not the only story of a mysterious creature. There are reported sightings in a remote Congo basin. One of the most famous would be Mukili Mbembe, whose name in Lingala means the one who stops the rivers. It's an elephant-sized monster with scaly skin and a long neck that lives in deep swamps and lakes, which hides in dense vegetation during the day and comes out to feed at night. Moliki Mbembe is said to resemble a long-necked sauropod dinosaur. There are many local residents' testimonies about sightings of the creature. Several researchers claim to have seen the animal or its footprints. There are several photographs and videos purporting to be Moliki Mbembe. However, this evidence is controversial. The legend of Moliki Mbembe has existed for centuries and the first mentions of the creature were recorded as early as 1776. There is an opinion that the Congo River Basin is a prehistoric arc of animals that was not affected by the mass extinction of species that occurred at the end of the Cretaceous period about 66 million years ago. When the asteroid hit the Earth, it wiped out an estimated 76% of all animal species. But are all dinosaurs really extinct? What do you think? Can such a place still exist? You can leave your opinion in the comment section below. And now, thank you for watching and see you in the next interesting documentary video.